Hey everybody, I'm Ryan Cardinal, the creator of the comic book series called Caius, a story of blood and stone, which is now on Indiegogo and In Demand. You can find me here, there, and everywhere by looking for the username at the Ryan Cardinal. So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to all my social media. Thanks. Hey everybody, this is Ryan Cardinal, the creator of Caius, a story of blood and stone, which is still available on Indiegogo, but only until September 30th. What I have on the screen right now is comic impressions, and who they are might be very, very important to you and to me because we're in the crowdfunding and indie comic book scene. I came across these guys while listening to the Comics Launch podcast. I would suggest that you guys go listen to this particular episode with Rich Boy, who is the owner of Comic Impressions. A lot of information has been put out here with this particular episode that I found very, very useful. I will leave a link to this particular episode in the description below. But these guys are a printer and what they're claiming, and from what I've seen just through their the website alone, is that they're able to do short order print runs very, very cost effectively that will be able to have you, the comic book creator, actually have money at the end of your, of your Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign or if you went through Kickstarter. And the main reason for that is this thing right down here. This top one here, this is the HP 12,000 digital offset printer. This is the thing that they're going to be using for doing short order print runs. Now, what does that mean? That means that you will be able to get high quality comic books at digital offset print quality. The difference between this one and the traditional offset is almost negligible. You really have to know what you're looking for. I've looked into this a little bit and it, this is the top of the line digital offset printer. This thing is a beast. So if you're looking to do a short order print run from 100 to 1000, this is the machine that's going to be doing it. Now, Rich was nice enough to send me a sample pack of the, the, the work that they do with this. And we'll take a look at that a little bit later. But for right now, let's just take a quick look through the website and what they do. So this is some of the products that they do. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be leaving a link to their website in the description below, but we'll just kind of quickly go through everything here. So uh, the comic books, graphic nozzle, trade, paper, trade paperbacks, hardcover, variant covers, art prints, business cards, posters, trading cards, everything that you're going to need for your crowdfunding campaign, they can do. And the thing is, they do it at a fairly reasonable, inexpensive rate. Uh, very surprised at what they're able to pull off with their printer here. Uh, right here, this is the reason best in class digital offset printing. This is the, the, the key thing right here. Top quality printing at lower per unit prices. Your comic book will be produced using sheet fed offset presses ensuring the highest quality print. Now the thing is the comic book, one of the samples that they sent me, uh, we'll take a look at that and it it's really gorgeous. It's really, really nice, but uh, we'll take a look at that in a bit resources now this is another great thing for them uh, that they have on their website they have the templates and if you're like me you draw on clip studio paint they already have templates ready for that so that's a big big bonus they have photoshop templates and they also have stuff for a pdf double page so they have resources ready and available on their website again i will leave a link to them in the description below this is some of their prices this is just what they have available you know just just standard stuff so you can take a quick look at this but if you actually sign up with them you'll be able to get a little bit better uh, pricing info and that's what I did here so we'll just go to feature categories click on comics trades graphic novels and we'll just go to regular comic book paper paperbacks we'll go here now my, my comic book is 60 64 pages but with the cover, I think this comes to 68. And I'll just put in a quantity of, let's just say like 500. And you got your wraparound cover. You can put UV coating on it if you want. There's your final width, standard comic book size. Uh, so we'll, we'll leave this at color right now. Interior stock. We'll, we'll, we'll just leave it at everything that's base right now. And so there's my total unit price right there. Price per unit, $4.22. And total price right there is $2,110. So if you're doing a short order print run, this might be a viable option for you out there because from a lot of the printers that I was looking at, I was probably looking at least double this amount. Uh, but let's do something here. If you're like me and you're doing black and white comic books, 
boom. That drops it down quite considerably. So that brings my unit price down to uh, $1,200 for 500 comic books. For me, that's a viable option because I'm doing black and white comic books. But uh, that's not the only thing that they do. They also do uh, graphic novels. This is the guts. Uh, and then these are the covers. I think that you do them separately. They do ash cans. They do variant covers. So they kind of got you covered on all your bases. So definitely give them a, uh, a look. Like I said, link is going to be in the description. But what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the samples that Rich was nice enough to send me. So let's cut away and do that here. And here we are. Here are the samples that Rich was nice enough to send me. I'm up here in Canada, so it took... Uh, it, it actually got here pretty quick. So we're just going to quickly go over just what it is that he sent me and these are the the cover stock and the interior stock as well as a graphic novel and some uh, ash can samples that were sent so this is the 100 dull cover and underneath is the uh, 100 gloss cover and you can see the sh the the sheen difference uh, between them obviously the gloss is a little bit a little bit glossier a little bit shinier uh, and the thickness super nice and thick uh, and that's the 100 pound super awesome i'm just going to go through these kind of quickly here this is the uh, 80 gloss and the 80 dull and you can kind of see see the difference in the sheen as it, as it rolls across there and again nice nice thick uh for 80 80 pound stock Now this is the 12 point, which is super duper thick. This would be stuff for your graphic novels, or if you want a really, really nice heavy cover for your book. I got my fingerprints all over this. That's how glossy and shiny it is. So, and you can definitely see the difference on the 12 point gloss UV coating and the dull UV coating. Really, really awesome stuff. Super nice. And remember, uh, the guys at Comic Impressions, they want your business. They openly said this in the podcast. If you want, get a hold of them. Get your own sample pack. Check it out for yourself. Uh, he was super nice enough to send it out for me. Got here super duper quick. And here are the sketch covers. Now, I ended up doing this with the 100 and this is the 80. I ended up doing a little bit of drawing on here just to see what the pen input or the, the take of the page is going to be like. I did two little dots. You can't really see them. But I left my pen in one spot for a very, very long time just to see what the bleeding was going to be like. Very, very minimal. And when I leave it there, I mean like I was like leaving it there. Oh, whatever that was, it dropped something. Like I, I just left it there for quite a while. And it barely, barely did any bleeding. Uh, especially for an un uncoated paper. Really, really awesome. Super stoked on these. Because I got a lot of sketch covers that I want to be doing for upcoming uh, variant comic books. Now these are the interior pages, this is the 100 pound gloss text, and the dull text. And again you can kind of see see the difference. Uh, the, they both look great, but the black on the gloss looks a little bit richer than the dull, obviously. And again, for interior pages, that's super nice and thick. Like I think this is higher quality than what Marvel's putting out for their cover stock. This almost feels maybe what Marvel's cover stock is. This is the 80 pound dull text. This is for their interior pages. Again, super nice, super awesome. But really, really nice high quality paper. And this is uh, the thinnest paper that they have. This is their 70 pound dull and their 70 pound gloss. But honestly, this, this feels more like what Marvel's putting out right now for their cover stock. But unlike them, uh, the, as, as you can tell, there's no uh, wavering or rippling in the paper, even though these are saturated end-to-end -end with ink, which is super duper important, and that'll be covered in these coming up, which are the comic book sample packs that were sent out. Now, these are by Scout Comics. Scout Comics have been kind of the bridge between the, the printer and the comic book world, because Comic Impressions, as, as their core company, they weren't a, really aware of the comic book industry until Scout Comics kind of said, hey, there's a whole other market that's not being utilized. And Rich in the podcast kind of looked at it and said, hey, you're right. This is this is awesome. Let me look into this. Found out we're kind of being taken to the cleaners as far as printing goes. And he's kind of bridging the gap. Like, And it 
for short print runs, it, it looks like the most viable option out there. At least that I found. If anybody else has found anything, let me know. But like I said, this is hands down the the best that I've seen so far. Now again, coverage end to end, no rippling. And these are just little ash cans. Uh, these aren't comic reviews, so we're not going to be reviewing the book. We're just actually looking at the print quality. Again, no rippling. This feels like the 80 pound stock in there. And this is just a short little ash can. Super awesome. Now this is with the 12 point gloss. Super, super glossy, nice and rich. Uh, I'm looking at this up close at a different angle. You guys can't see it, but as you well know with digital printing, sometimes you get like uh, the, the line wavering. There's none of that in this whatsoever. There's no stuttering of the print. I think that it prints at like seven or 2,700 lines per square inch. So super, super high quality printing. And again, this is the 12 point, super thick, super awesome. Interior pages, again, super nice. Staple uh, right down the middle, you know, just like a regular comic book. Super impressed with that. And last but not least, this is Once Our Land by Scout Comic Books. This was the graphic novel that they were nice enough to send to show uh, their perfect binding. Everything seems to be on point. Uh, one of the things that I noticed too for myself was how rich the blacks are. The line quality is super awesome. And if you don't know what rich black is, sometimes when you get black printing and you just get black, it, it kind of looks almost like charcoal-y. It's black, but not quite black. As with the blacks on this, super rich. Nice, deep blacks. And as you can see, as I roll across there, there's no rippling, no wavering in the print quality whatsoever on the page. Uh, because it's, it's sheet fed in that way, and I think because of the, the digital print, it doesn't do that. And it lays flat, if you're looking for that in the graphic novel, which a lot of people are. And the binding itself, let's take a look at that. Uh, unfortunately, my camera can't capture it, so uh, there is no... Yeah, I don't see anything with with the binding on there. Uh, a, little, a little bit of wear and tear, but that's just actually me uh, rubbing it on, on the wood here. Uh, the other thing that I did with this too, this particular book, is I actually went in and was, like, I'm rubbing the hell out of it. And I'm not getting any ink off. Uh, let's see, let me see if I can find... Like, I am getting, like... Like, I think, if anything, I'm getting dirt off my finger. <laughs> And then something off of there so uh, that's as we all know Marvel comic books you pick it up you got ink all over your fingers this thing you can read it with quality you're not gonna get anything off on your hands just from reading it uh, that, that was literally me just rubbing the heck out of it creating friction and I got like like I said I think it's more of like dirt on my finger than anything else but yeah that's my uh, review of comic impressions super awesome Give them a call, give them an email. They want your business. I think they got mine for sure because of the print quality. From what I've seen here, the interactions with Rich online were super fast, super friendly, super courteous, super professional. And those are all the things that we as comic book creators are always looking for. So give them a, a shout out for sure. Ask for their sample pack, see what they send you, see if you like it, and then make your decision from there. But as far as my decision goes, they got me with this stuff that they sent and just how nice, courteous, and friendly they were. So that pretty much wraps up this review. I hope that everybody enjoyed it, found it useful. And if you have any questions or comments, please hit me up down below, like I said. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff. And remember that Caius' Story of Blood and Stone will be wrapping up at the end of this month, so September 30th is your, is your last chance to hop on it while you can. Once it's done, that print run will be over. That's going to be it. Thank you, everybody, for popping by. I'll talk to you again real soon. Peace. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks.